All right, we made it to Devil Lance Hatfield's old home place. Yeah. The one and only Jack Hatfield. Who needs a haircut badly. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying that, that I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I read somewhere that there's only, I think it was five or seven descendants. direct descendants of Devil Lance Hatfield. And mm. right there's one of them, y'all. There's one of them. <laughs> I don't know. I have just, just I'm not Don't feud with him. Don't 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 yeah, make don't no. make him mad. No, there's been a lot of people right here done learning that. Done learning that. Oh. That's the well. Huh? Yeah, Devil Ants Hatfields old well, yeah, guys. The original well. Devil Ants Hatfields original well. I didn't think this could be the original well because the hole was so small. And then my dad who um is a natural gas educated me that they did have the technology back then to drill a well hmm. like this if you had the money to do yeah. it yeah he was rich so, where was the house at like was it right, right here, right here. this spot? is it mm -hmm. yeah it, yep. and then I mean, I, of course it was much bigger than mine yeah but, yeah it was in three sections yep. yeah and it went all the way up to about where the yeah. pad is there on the driveway okay and then um like you said it was three sections two stories Mm -hmm. And I saw then a of um, little gardens outside of the yeah yeah he had a yep. ginseng yep. garden he wasn't no dummy he yeah he had a ginseng, ginseng out back garden. well that yeah. was his field down here wasn't it wasn't it yeah his uh, farm was down there on that that's field. what I thought Fred Fred he had uh, devil uh, devil Lance's horse Fred yeah was his pen was right there on the other side of the house I, I've camped out there camped you know, in you know what video. Fred's old barnyard I think that might be one of the first ones I saw <laughs> you know I bet you we could see the path. That the leaves have fallen over there. Over the cemetery? Uh-huh. The old path going up? Probably. Yeah. Now that all the leaves have fell, I bet. Look how pretty it looks up there on that mountain. I yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah, it is. Usually I hate it when ain't no leaves. I think it's ugly, but... I, I like winter. I, I, think, I hate winter. I, I think, Jack, I, I honestly, I, I've thought about this. I've said this before, man. I think West Virginia is like a beautiful woman. She's pretty when she's mad. She's pretty when she's happy. Uh -huh. she, <laughs> she, it don't matter what kind of mood she's in. She's still pretty. Uh, that's the way I look at it. That's how I look at this, man. I think it's, I think it's beautiful. I really do. Girl's got you trained. After about a couple months, I get a little bit depressed and <laughs> wait till spring. Y'all yeah, need to go camping in it. Y'all yeah. need to go tent camping in it. No, that's me. My winter like kills my depression and anxiety. It kills it through the winter. That's it's really bad for the winter. I, I can imagine because you're like secluded too, so you're not like in Huntington. I can go, you know, do things. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you don't have like you have no uh, things to do. Really. No, we actually even struggle with infrastructure. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Water, electric, electric. Don't went off today once. Oh, really? They're yeah. working on that. Uh, the worst pin Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's probably well, what it is. Well, went off 36 times in 36 months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't tell you how much ice cream I've had to throw out of the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I bet. Yeah. So, like, I've... I've yeah. You need I've a been, generator. I've been on... Oh, I've, I've, <laughs> I've got that so on the house, but now that we built a new <laughs> museum building, we don't have it on there. Yeah. Um, we're starting to under, underpin it. So, the contractors took today off because they thought it was going to snow. So, they'll be back tomorrow. It feels like it, don't it? But, see, that's what the underpinning is going to look like on the front. Yeah. Right there, and then we got uh, a grant that helped pay for half of the bridge. So we're about to oh, also did you? do the so walking bridge. Congratulations! Yeah, the yeah. other half's going to come out of my congratulations. Pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's just going to be a walking bridge though, because I can't afford a car bridge. That's yeah. like crazy big money. I'm sure. So um, railroad tracks like that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. It works. So, well, so. Yeah. see over here. Um, we have a big wide spot, so we're able to do tour buses, school buses, whatnot there. Yeah. And then the walking bridge will allow them to cross over um, the creek to the to the museum. To the mu yeah, the museum and the gift shop and food truck. So speaking of, y'all want to go look at the museum? Check it out. Yeah, I gotta go in the back door and let you in. Okay. <laughs> Jack, appreciate you. No problem, buddy. Appreciate you, man. I know, I mean, I live here, and, and, and you know, it's Leo, so I probably go a little bit bummed. Luna, <laughs> come on. She's going to follow y'all in there. Yeah, we're going in the front door, ain't we? We're going in the front door, ain't we? <laughs>
<laughs> Luna. I have a banjo and a mandolin. <laughs> They're a little bit bigger than these two. They're both black and white, though. They're about friendly, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I, I can't say the same about mine. Banjo, he's, uh, he's <laughs> nice, but Mandy's psychopath. There's Dad! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> She's my world, buddy. <laughs> Looney Lou, come on. It smells new in here. Come on, yeah, check it does. It is new. Smells like fresh cut yeah. lumber. Yeah, it is new. Um, it's, uh, see these lights, I have such a problem with lights, man, but you know, that's all I deal with in here is lights. Yeah. But uh, these lights, they heat and cool and they expand and contract the plastic and then they unhook themselves. Oh, oh really? Yeah, huh. it's annoying. <clears throat> Those are similar to the lights my brother had in his, uh, he did tell cars and he had lights, uh, in his garage so you could see the dirt, I guess. Oh Similar yeah. Things. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna bring all this back out here. Um, you got some cool stuff in here, huh? Yeah, it's a uh, coal strip. Yeah, she was telling me this case won't. Oh, it is laid up, so what's she talking about? <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, coal strip. Um, of course, we make a lot of the stuff for the gift shop here on, on site. Mm -hmm. I have a laser engraver, 3D printer, and a uh, any printer? What, oh, big, huge fabric printer, like T-shirt. Yeah, I used to have a shirt company. Actually, it's Live Loud uh, Custom Shirt Company. I'm going DTG. Director or Director Army? Yeah, that's what I did. This is the print of this. Yeah, I got an Epson F20. <laughs> just hand me. <laughs> uh, uh, he'll be like nut scratcher. Oh yeah, nut scratcher, nut cracker. <laughs> is it nut scratcher? Right? <laughs> I couldn't help it. You see the belly button brush? Yeah, I saw the belly button brush. Yeah, yeah at a jar, jar of whoop, whoop ass. ass. Yeah, yeah, don't make me open this. <laughs> I can't think how many people come in here and try to open it. But it's glued on, ain't it? You know. I, I would probably try to open it. And the Hillbilly shot glass, people love those. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. what is, is that a, that's a real railroad nail? date nails? Yeah, so back in the day, that's how the railroad did their research to. Uh, to know what how to preserve the ties. Huh. So they would drive one nail on the side that had the date on it, and the other nail would have how it's preserved. So like, I don't know if there's any more in here. I don't see any, but. Specific. So like one will have, oh, well, here's ST. Yeah. So that's steam, right? So this, this one was steamed in 1910. Huh. And then maybe 20, 30, 40 years later, it rots, and they're yeah. going back and replacing it. They know, okay, it's not used steam. Yeah, the steam one yeah. didn't work too you well. Know, and then, trial and error type uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. I had a big hey, printer. Dear. Well, I had a direct arm printer. <laughs> it was, and then, so I printed my own shirts, but we used to sub out a lot of other printing. But I did have a big yeah. sign printer too. Like I had a, oh, yeah, I had I print know. signs at my four foot by I five. wish I did. I know. Yeah. That's hard part about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to maintain. Yeah. And if you're not using it every day, uh, they go bad real yeah. fast. Yeah. They dry <laughs> now I use that DTG printer. I can't print t-shirts fast. You have I. a DTG printer? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what yeah. I, I had one. It, I had what brand is yours? Epson. Yeah, those are nice ones. Yeah, I had an Anajet. The Epson F2100. Yeah, nice. Boy, thing's cool as hell. It's so neat to watch. It amazes me every time the plants are served. Yeah. Yeah, you literally, what are you, look at that. What are you doing under there, a little bit? <laughs> what are you doing there? Um, but it there. just sucks the t-shirt in and mm -hmm. prints it, and then you just put it on the heat press to dry it, you know? I got it for sale used on Facebook Marketplace for like nine, nine thousand. Mm -hmm. And I told her, you know, I said, hey, you know, well, I, was, I just kept an eye on it. And then eventually she knocked me down to 6,000. And I met nice. her. Um, the obvious piece right here is, of course, this trunk, which is from Floyd Hatfield's uh, cabin, Floyd's home place. And it's, uh, he was he was in the hog trial. He's the one that stole the hog, wasn't he? He's the one. Or allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, supposedly it was his hog. You know what's interesting? So I'm working on another book right now. And the so the book that I'm working on, I'm gonna republish a book and then just put like an introduction in the front of it. And uh, from you know, the family's perspective of things, like questions I get asked a lot. So what was interesting is on this book that I chose to republish, it was written in 1886. 
86 or 89, I can't remember. Um, and it was a first-hand account uh, with interview with Dev Lance by T.C. Crawford. He was a New York reporter who had connections that was able to get him close to Dev Lance at the time. Mm -hmm. So he came in and did an interview with Dev Lance. So it's a first-hand account, in my opinion, the closest thing that I'll get to my yeah. grandfather's frame of mind mm -hmm. and thinking during that time period in that feud, right? It's quite interesting. I was, I've been going through the book, you know, like uh, reading it, and it was quite interesting on the take of how things happened and their frame of mind, frame of thinking during that. Yeah. The, you know, the McCoys, during that time frame, the McCoys just kept taking punches. And, you know, just things that I never even put together or thought about with the timeline that I have and all the knowledge that I have. And, I mean, at some point, you're going to fight back, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. you're really going to take so yeah, much. You're right. And that's actually, I mean, the first event was that Civil War event. I mean, you know, the, the events are correct. But when I'm listening to him on how he's telling the story, it's quite interesting how it all played out. And the McCoys just kept taking stabs at different Hatfields, not necessarily Devil Ants, but different Hatfields around. And one of them was the Hulk trial. Ellison. And then, yeah, with Ellison. And then eventually that came to a head with the land trial. All right. And that, and then the Hulk trial and land trial came at the same time. And before that, they had killed um, one of Devil Ants' uh, son-in-laws. I think it was a son-in-law, Bill Dempsey. And then um, somebody else, you know, I mean, it was, it was quite interesting. I haven't even finished all of his portion of the book yet, but it's quite interesting how it all... So yeah. there's no recordings like uh, video or, or just sound recordings of him talking like Dev Lance. Because it was, was in the early 20s when he passed away, so that would have been out there. Right? Yeah, there was... He died in 1921, February, or January 9th, I think yeah. it was, 1921. Um, there was a silent movie made. And he did make a silent movie, and he, uh, but it's lost. No one right. ever, you know, people come in here, oh, I got a photo of Devil Ants. And I'm like, oh, here I go again. Yeah. <laughs> did a like, pig okay, really start? Oh, they killed beard. each other over a pig, over right? A dog. Uh, <laughs> that one makes me heated. That one gets me just red. Like, it was over a hog, wasn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. killed each other for 35 years over a pig. Yeah, that was solidified <laughs> sure. by the documentary that they made, you know, because they made it look like that's... Well, yeah, the wow. whole trial. Well, I mean, and, it you know, was a piece of the puzzle, but it was a huge, right, right. huge yeah. puzzle. That's a good analogy. That's a, a good huge analogy. situation. And that piece of the puzzle wasn't even with Devil Ants. It was right. with Floyd. Yeah. You know? That's a good analogy. Which his, yeah, which this trunk. was his yeah. trunk, yeah. And his, um, his cabin's still standing over Mingo County. Really? Yeah, I can't disclose the location, so I'm trying to get it moved over here, but that's another that's big cool. dollar project that's mm -hmm. going to make a lot of money. But I'm trying. She's fascinated with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Get some shiny shoes, man. Yeah. He, he has some puppy doggies there. <laughs> About 20 pounds to her size. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Is that what you have? Danes. Oh, that's Danes. 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 Yeah. yeah, there's a uh, a master, or no? No, he's a great Dane. Hey, puppy. Down the street, he likes to visit all the time. Yeah, most of them do. Though. People get imitated by him, you know, because he's so big when he comes in here. Yeah. And you know, he the other day, he was at my back porch, and I got Luna. No. He was at my back porch, and he was hitting my uh, door in my back porch, trying to get in, so I'd let him in the house. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Without, much as I hate but to anyways. say it, we've only got 28% of our battery left. Oh, well, I'll go quicker. <laughs> so, um, I don't have a lot of space to display facts, you know, because I've got a lot of artifacts in here. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't have a lot of space to display stories and photos and all that. I wish I had a much bigger space, but I don't. But, so there's a lot of photos and stuff in here you can take a look at that you can read, you know, about the Pawpaw Tree Massacre. A lot of people ask how he got his nickname, you know. Yeah. There's a timeline of the feud over here and his children and his... Um, um, biography about him. This is Fred, the stallion we were talking about, his favorite stallion, Fred. Yeah. And these the are picture. some of Fred's horseshoes we found out there huh. um, in the yard. And um, this is actually the fort that was here up the street um, that they used to run to in um, really bad times. Behind him, supposedly in this photo here of him and Fred, behind him is the actual uh, like hideout and home place that they were hiding out in during the feud. It was a two-story brick building. And it actually sat across the street over here where these two 
That building out buildings there? are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> where those two out buildings are. So that photo was taken right there with him. He, he lived there or just hit out and there? The, when they, he hit out there. So uh, back then, mm-hmm. of course, this was nothing but woods. And he knew this terrain like the back mm-hmm. of his hand, right? So he built the hideout here. And if you look halfway up the mountain, there's a ledge over there. Mm-hmm. And that's where the sharpshooters would sit and hide out and watch out over the home watch place. The Hmm. Yep, the house and then the hideout, you know, so they they came here in I think about the 1870s during, you know, like during the feud is mm-hmm. when they first came here in the middle of the feud to get away um, and hide out. So he built that here and um, then later on as the family grew to 13 kids, they built the home place on this side of the house and then moved over here to the home place and the hideout sat right there as like a, a jail. Yeah. They had a jail cell in the bottom. Yeah. In the, right in the middle of it, yeah. I think uh-huh. that maybe their housing was up top and maybe downstairs with headquarters. I well, know. everybody needs a jail in their house. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Bad kids, you know. Yeah. 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 There's a few different stories on that building, but I, I don't know which one's true, but this one I like anyway. But this is uh, Polly Hatfield's pearls, uh, preacher aunt's, yeah. his wife Polly. So it's her pearls. Really? Um, <clears throat> yeah. He was the one that actually conducted the trial, right? Preacher Ants? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And Mary Johnson. No, I have not seen that picture. You haven't? No, I have not seen That's a seen pretty it. famous one. That's, I of course, think. Troy and Elias, the two that was killed right. in the moonshine shootout right. with the Italians. That was a AKA Boomer, Mafia. It? Or, or Candle Boomer. Yeah. Boomer. Yeah, it was in Boomer. Um, of course, him and Levice. And that's Troy and Elias, the two that were there. And yeah. And that's Elias. Handsome but deadly, they say. Yeah. Um, it's all of us, I guess. I <laughs> when we have haircuts that's all of anyway. us <laughs> of course these are my babies here this um is uh, henry 44 a uh, big boy i uh, made in honor of the uh family history so one side you got the mccoy side of the story the other side is the hatfield side it was made in honor of the peace treaty that was done in 2003 um the bottom gun is a 1851 navy steel which is made in honor of the Pawpaw Tree Incident and a love story with John C. and Roseanne. So and he's these on are, one side, she's on the other. John C. Yeah, and if you look on the uh, chamber there, you'll see etched in gold is the uh, Pawpaw Tree Shooting Incident scene. Mm-hmm. There. On that side? or Oh, no, on the, around on the whole uh, yeah. chamber there. I see it now. Yep. And of course, the other shotgun over there the is uh, belong to Devil Ants himself. My uh, great aunt Judy had it in her closet for 70 plus years. We had no idea. Um, it was given to her by Craig, um, her grandfather, Devil Ants' grandson, when she was four and moved out of West Virginia. Um, and she's had her attic ever since and never told anybody. It's a pretty good thing, actually. It's beautiful. It was, made it here. Yeah, she always felt it made her a target, so she yeah. uh, she wouldn't let me know. Nobody even knew it So existed. when you opened this place, did she say, look what I got, you know? Like, well, um, me and her did this together. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, okay. after I opened it and after she saw how great it was and after I put in all my security, yeah, um, she's like, I need you oh, to yeah. Uh, yeah. fly down to Florida. And I'm like, why do I need to fly down to Florida? I mean, I'm game, but why? I got something I've been hiding and uh, I think it's time for you to have it. and. What do you, you mean? You can't fly that back there, right? No. So <laughs> what she told me she yeah. said, I need you to fly to Florida and rent a car mm-hmm. and then drive back. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah. <laughs> she was like, I don't trust this going through security, TSA, mm-hmm. airplanes, people handling Yeah, yeah. She was Out like, of sight. Yeah. Out of yeah. 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 She was airplanes like, have issues. To... Airplanes have issues with yeah. shotguns. Yeah. She gave, she gave me that and a few other things I can't talk about. But um, this, uh, yeah, she pulled it out and I said, what? That's not the one in the picture, is it? Is yeah. that the exact one in the picture? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No kidding. Yeah. 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 He sawed it off. Yeah. Um, our theory is he sawed it off to conceal it on Fred. A sale gun. Because, uh, yeah. because if you look at the handle here, um, it's uh, you know, beaten kind of where it would hit the hide of the horse, mm-hmm. as a, you know, as the horse would run. So that's our theory: is that you know it was sawed off to mm. handle that. And it's uh, of course it's a Winchester 1897. Um, this one was manufactured in 1911, I think it was. So we know it wasn't used in the feud per se. But it was used by him. He carried it afterward just after. in case a McCoy yeah. showed up. Oh, that man never left here right. without a gun. Right. Ever. Well, you can't blame him. You there's know? even photos over here of him consulting the railroad, and you can see he's pointing, and there's a pistol in it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Well, they, they all 
State Arms. Yeah. This, of course, is the funeral here at the home place. Um, yeah. CNO Railway knew when he died it was going to be a uh, an event, right? So CNO Railway had, which is uh, now CSX, they had organized a funeral train that went from Huntington to Charleston to Logan, and then they parked it down here at the Stewart Mine, and um, they wagoned people down here for the funeral. So it was said there was over 5,000 people came for that funeral because hmm. they knew it was going to be a big deal. And that's what that picture is from. Yep, that's mm -hmm. a picture from that day. Mm -hmm. And then this is the statue dedication about a year later, a year or two later. Um, there's a lot of craziness around his statue. The, uh, his two sons bought it for him, actually. Um, a lot of people say he was conceited and mm -hmm. bought his own statue and all that. But supposedly there's receipts that have been found. It was ordered in Huntington. Oh, and really? And displayed in Huntington. And there's a newspaper article Hmm. Um, with you know, with it in the newspaper article, um, I've seen the article, but I don't think it had a date on it. Wonder where he ordered it from. Um, it was from Italy. Yeah. Well, I know that it's from Italy, but what, there was had to be a business that facilitated that. Oh, it that. was. A, I'm, I'm pretty. I think it was Sears. I think it was oh, okay. Sears. Okay, really. There's actually a Sears Monument Company right downtown. It, okay. I wonder if it's the same it one. Might, would, might be. Yeah. yeah. Might be. That would Could be so well cool be. to find out if yeah. it was. Yeah, and they it had was. those records. Are you kidding me? That would be awesome. That would out. put a lot of craziness <laughs> to rest because yeah. there's a lot of people that just yeah, that's true. That's, have a lot of theories and that's one way to find out. Hate him and uh -huh. you know yeah, it's crazy. It's worth looking whatever. into just to see that. And this is Levi's funeral. Um, so you see all the model T's yeah. lined up all the way down the road here, down four to four. She died in twenty one and he died in twenty, right? No, he died in twenty one. She died. Does that say March? It says twenty one. Yeah, that's wrong. He died in 21, and I think she died in 28. That should say 28. So this, I was thinking it so was the, like seven years later. Yeah. That's what oh, I was okay. That's, never mind. I see the yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, that's her. Is that her? Uh, she's buried with him. Oh, okay. She's under the statue. Gotcha. Um, so this is Johnsy's grave here. So Johnsy died in I think 22. I think it was mm -hmm. like a year and a half after Devil Ants or something. So um, and then so you have him and Johnsy, and then in 27 she passed. And this is um, of her funeral. In the beginning, I thought it was Devil Ansel's funeral, but it was actually hers, I found out. Have you ever noticed this one? Yes. It says killed, killed by accident. Yeah. And I looked it up. He suffocated in the mine. Slate fall. Hmm. Slate fall. That's not it's all a slate fall? Mm -hmm. or? Slate fell That's, on him. Yeah. He suffocated. Hmm. I didn't go that deep in it. but Heather did. I, I have I, a Heather. I wonder. I know. <laughs> I don't have that luxury. <laughs> I thought maybe for um, him, I think it's canary within that That's kind of what I was <laughs> yeah. thinking, too. But now he he's I mean I don't know he must have been somebody to have a nice yeah. grave like that yeah. at that time That's period. True. Is that That's a real uh, cotton no. pop? Oh, okay, it looks uh, old. I found them on online on an oh, okay. auction site. Yeah, I wish there was. That'd be really. Oh cool. wow! Yeah. Um, this is my favorite story about him and the property here. So he actually supposedly the story is is that he went bear hunting and killed a he loved to bear hunt. So he went bear hunting and killed a black bear and not realizing that she had cubs mm -hmm. so she had three cubs so he ended up bringing the cubs home and they became his pets i saw pictures of this yeah so supposedly the last two he, cubs there's rumors he's had up to 10 bears on the property but mm -hmm. who knows we know he had three because yeah, yeah. the pictures are three together <laughs> yeah so yeah and this is uh his brother it's either smith or patterson i don't know they were twins it's crockett Devil Ants and I think a reporter or somebody with that cub up the tree. Huh? I think it's Crockett or no, that's Devil Ants' brother again with the chain and Devil Ants with the whip. And then here he is with two cubs that's on chains. And that's actually in front of that hideout. It was across the street. Huh? Yeah, that's it's the there. building, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the side of it. Um, Lou Raglan, she was kind of notorious in the area. You didn't mess with her. <laughs> and yes, that is Raglan of Raglan's. Okay. Yeah. It's a really cool story. I'm gonna look it up. Um, of course, just more information about Devil Ants up here. You can read um, coal railroad spikes from back in the day. I thought they kind of went with the fact of his story about where he consulted um, Norfolk and Western Railway yeah. around here. And that's what I was talking about. You can see in his jacket and his belt right there see the jacket's pulled back yeah you see the pistol and the pistol sticking out right there yeah, you sure can yeah man never went anywhere without a protection um i don't know the year that one was taken i don't hmm. know the year that photo was taken um here's a photo of the house kind of later right before it burned down on the retaining wall and the bridge it's out there right 
Um, of course, he was part of the Logan Wildcats, which is kind of what started everything. Is he in that picture? No. Somebody said that there was some question uh, if he was really in the Logan Wildcats or not. He well, yeah. Is that? And I've read <laughs> he that. Definitely yeah. He definitely so, was. He definitely was. There's also some confusion on the whole thing of him being a captain, captain. and all this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking he was maybe captain of the Wildcats. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people say he wasn't a captain, but I mean, my God, his son is called Little Cap because yeah. he was called Little Captain. Right. And then as he grew up, they just went to Cap. Cap. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, there's clearly something there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. We can, you know, there's there's not evidence of either, but and was, I think that was honestly by design. Yeah, he wasn't. Um, he wasn't a captain in the Civil War, right? I, I you know, they say I, some yeah. say he was, some say he wasn't. I really don't know. There would I, be I'm definite sure. uh, documentation if he was. You would think, yeah. right? And then here, of course, it's another photo of the Wildcats here in Logan. Now that flag right there is up there in the state capitol. Uh, that one, exact yeah. one. Yeah, huh. mm -hmm. that flag right there. Um, it's really cool. It's hanging on the wall. I wanted to pull it off and bring it home, yeah. <laughs> but where it belongs. Yeah. But anyway, so he was definitely part mm -hmm. of the Wildcats. Yeah. Um, so the time frame, the time period, you got to put yourself in the time period. West Virginia just became a state. Mm -hmm. There was not really law and order set up. There was, you know, right. nothing was really set up. Mm -hmm. And we're on the border. That's why they so militias. Kentucky was trying to invade and take West Virginia. Perry Klein took out them bogus arrest warrants on Devil Ants, and this is interesting in that book. He took out arrest warrants on Devil Ants for blackmail. Sent Devil Ants a letter saying if you pay the ransom of $500, I'll have the governor pull them, uh, pull them out. Well, Devil Ants paid the ransom. But then Perry Klein, when he went to the governor, the governor was like, no, I'm keeping them because that was gonna be leverage for him to evade West Virginia, hmm. see? So, if the governor of West Virginia wasn't doing anything about the Wildcats and Devil Ants taking care of the McCoys, then he would. Yeah. And he would invade and take southern West Virginia and, and capture the Hatfields. So, supposedly in Anita Waller's book, she said that the governor responded by sending a thousand troops down, led by Devil Ants, which could have also been the time he was right. captain. Right. Who knows? And that would have not necessarily been recorded. Mm -mm. And um, he um, supposedly led the led the troops on the border, and then the governor of uh, Kentucky set his butt down. So, um, yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of theories out there. Mm -hmm. We'll never yeah. know the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all we can do is discuss the theories and what could it and couldn't have happened. Yeah. So excuse all the dust on Leo's close-ups. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, there's a lot of interesting little stories. But, yeah, so the governor refused, refused to... Um, to take away the warrants on, on their heads, and then uh, Perry Klein sent the $500 back to Devil Ants. It's crazy. It's crazy mm -hmm. in this book of these things. It's like, wait a minute, that actually makes sense for a second. <laughs> you know, if you if you know, you know the rest of the story and how it all played out later in life and what he's saying in this book, you're like, oh, that that's a new that's... theory I've not heard, and that actually makes some sense. But who knows? <laughs> we never know. Hmm. Um, but here's a really good uh, close-up of the house um, back before it burned. You can see it's in three sections there. The back was a one-story. Right in front of the uh, yeah. driveway. My hope and plan is to rebuild the house and then put the museum and everything in yeah. the house, but who knows. Um, and this right here, of course, this is Devil Ants sitting here in the middle. And the YC to the right of him. Of course, you can see they're a little younger here. The guy in the back right, tall guy. Uh-huh. Hey girl, chill. Um, <laughs> that is Robert E. Lee Hatfield, my great grandfather. Okay. So he had um, uh, Robert E. Lee, which is his third son, he, and they call him Robert in all the stories and stuff. And mm -hmm. even in this book, he, they call him Robert, and they say he was at the uh, McCoy shooting and all this stuff. Anyways, um, he had two sons, John and Craig. John Jr. is my grandfather. Craig, his other son, is Judy's grandfather, where that gun came from. Right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So we're from the same son of mm -hmm. Devil Ants, yeah. So I'd be technically, I'd be his great, great, great grandson. I mm -hmm. just get tired of saying great. Four, four greats. Yeah. Three. Three greats. <laughs> I, get tired, yeah. I get tired of saying great, great, great. So I just say great and then people are like, ah, 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 Yeah, you ain't a hundred years ain't, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid people. I just get tired of saying shit. I mean, my God, it's uh, you, I talk about this five times a day, I, you know. Um, anyway, so you got John C's, uh, 
rest warrant was really cool, but this right here is one of my favorite pieces too. Is that a real warrant? Or? That, no. Or, 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 uh, it's not a real no, warrant. It was, I found it on an auction site. Yeah. Again. But that, like is, that, that is Dave Lance's axe head right there. Yeah, that's what I was looking at right there. Yeah. And Leo, you were here the other day, we were talking about the things you dug out. There's the last stuff with the knife and all that. I don't have that out here yet. I've been lazy. But all this is stuff you found, all this in here. You is found some coins? of this here. Yeah, these two coins <laughs> are two of the coins that y'all found. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the whole other coin things are over yeah, here. Yeah, jar coins. Yeah, you found some of this stuff up here. I know okay. on the video, the last time you were here, and I wasn't out here, you weren't sure where it was at. Those are some of them. And then here's the coins you found out there with the yeah, jar. the jar coins. Yeah, I got that out here. That was a good day. That was a cold day, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I got that out here. And then the, um, the Civil War bullets and buttons from uniforms and stuff y'all found yeah, out there. That. And then supposedly this in the back is supposed to be Devil Lance's sash buckle from his Civil War uniform. Right. Where? In this, the back? This really? buckle right there. Where'd you find that from? Um, I don't know if it was the Diggers TV show found that one oh, or if it was Eric and Simon or... Eric. So the Diggers came out here and... Uh -huh. Yeah, the Diggers did a show that. and then we yeah. had some other local Diggers and... Um, mm -hmm. I saw yours whenever you all went out. Yeah. yeah, my, yeah. I we went for the woods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my memory is so bad I can't remember names right now. But we had some other uh, diggers come out local that um, did some digs, and uh, they actually just published an article about it the other day uh, in a ma uh, one of the digging magazines. It's really cool. It's a good hmm. article too. Cool. He's supposed to send them to me so I can put them in the shop here. Um, and then of course this is Tennis right here in the middle when he became sheriff of. Logan County before he burned down the house. Yeah. Oh, he was the one that burned the house. Yeah, down? he burned it. And it was the son of the that, but yeah, it was him. Went to jail. Did they give him insurance money yeah. on, or did they? Yeah, they paid him ten thousand dollars, and then they arrested him. Then for put him in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sheriff of Logan. Yeah. Wow. Welcome to Logan County. <laughs> um, got uh, eight percent of battery left. Oh, just, guys, well, just in case the battery goes <laughs> out. Thank y'all for watching. We love you <laughs> and all this good stuff. And you know, go ahead, Jack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always like y'all talking about. But of course, cold script. This this set of cold script special to me. That's actually from the store my grandmother worked in. Really? Yeah, I had no idea. I didn't know she worked in it. And um, the guy that used to own it was still alive when I was a little kid. And he used to maintain the car wash across the street. And I'd be bored to go across the street and bug him to death every time. And um, when I went buying cold script from this old timer in Beckley to sell in the gift shop, he's like, oh, you remember Everett Miller? And I'm like, yeah, I remember him very well. I used to aggravate the crap out of him when I was a little kid. <laughs> and uh, he was like, well, I'm going to send you something special. I said, okay. So he sent me that whole set. So, you know, it meant a lot to me because it comes yeah, from no Everett. Doubt. But then my no dad doubt. educated me on my grandmother worked for Everett at exactly. his company store. And I probably, had no Probably idea. sold those. Yeah, she, she probably handled she them. Could, yeah, she could have yeah. taken them in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, it had to. It wasn't that big of a store. It wasn't yeah. that big yeah. of a community. Really? Um, of course, you got, um, I see my memory so bad. Sid and Ed. Ed Chambers and Sid Hatfield. And I do this 50 times a week. And can you think <laughs> of, well, not 50, it's exaggerating. Maybe three. <laughs> um, it's a big difference. But uh, Baldwin, uh, Baldwin Phelps agencies who were hunting down uh, Sid and um, Ed Chambers from the Mate One Massacre, which is such a cool story. Of course, the timeline of the feuds in here, which is also on our website if anybody, any of the viewers want to check it out, filmmccoyfoundation.org. You right. go on there and look at the timeline and some of this information. Um, oh, some really <laughs> cool. Oh, I told you about the map, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can have well, I'll tell him, and him. Um, I'm working on a map. I've not. I've kept it really hush hush because we don't have cell service down here. Mm -hmm. So you know you can't use a GPS here very well. It's not going to update every time you go to a new spot. Things like that. So I'm working on a paper map of all the feud sites and how to reach all the feud sites starting either here or in Pikeville. So it's going to encompass Logan County, Mingo County, and Pike County. Nice. Um, so you can get everything all in one. Surprised um, nobody's done so, that yet. That's kind of there's a couple apps, but but nothing that like that you right. can get locally. People right. they should be at the gas station. Kentucky you know? did one, which was great, but um, they focused on Kentucky. Yeah. So it should right. be called, it should be called the McCoy Tour Map. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Not yeah. The McCoy Tour Map, but um, unfortunately they left out West Virginia. And I mean I get it. It's Kentucky tourism. I get right. It. Right. But that's only mm -hmm. half of the story. So. 
I'm, we're, you know, our hope, of course, is to bring all these people together so they work together mm -hmm. um, for the good of tourism for yeah. both states, the community. both communities right. and economies. Right. But <laughs> there's a lot of challenges there. Yeah. A um, lot of history, things like that, that we fight trying to get it fixed. Well, but, kids, I hate yeah. to say it, but we are down to 5% right. of our yeah. battery. Well, I gave uh, you the big highlights. Yeah, anyway, definitely. I mean, definitely. you can stay in here Thank for hours you, and hours and hours. I know, I know, man. If you I actually know. read everything and looked at everything. Yeah. It doesn't sound yes, book. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for coming along. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see all of it. There was a whole bunch of stuff, obviously, all day long. Um, any of you Huntington residents, if any of you are living in Huntington, Make sure you vote for this dude when it comes time for city council. He's already shown that he's willing to make sacrifices for you guys, so... Duh. You, <laughs> that's what you want. That's who you want on your council, so... Turn around here, Josh, so everybody can see your face. Y'all vote for this guy. <laughs> Do I have the face of a politician? Not really, not really. <laughs> you look honest. honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, thank y'all for coming along. Very much appreciate y'all coming along with us throughout our day, you know, just kind of roaming around the countryside and stuff. Uh, we appreciate you very much. You guys have a really good day. And I think I got like 1% or 2% left, so I better end this one now. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a really good day. And this is Leo with the Hillbilly Files. Leo out.